Welcome to Daniel's Prayer Program. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7, Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. For our first prayer item, let's pray for the COVID patients to be filled with faith and never lose hope. And how do we pray? Fervently and and with joy. joy. Father God, we come before you in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Lord, fill our COVID situation with hope. And fill with the God as they hear the word of God, as they read the word of God aloud, faith arise from within them, God. Never ever lose hope. But remember your goodness. Remember that you are the God who heals today. Remember that you are the God. God of mercy. Yes, God. Thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you, God, that they'll be healed completely in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you promise that by the words of Jesus, they have been healed, oh God, and healed completely. Lord, you're the God who restores to full health. You pray for every COVID patient in our nation that they'll be healed, restored to good health, restored God to good condition. Father God, we thank you. Father God, we honor you for your love and grace upon them. See, they will be blessed. will be filled, God. God never be anxious or worried. They will depend on your promises, God. Oh, Lord God, your promises are real. Your promises, God, shall come to pass. For heaven and earth will pass away, but your word Word, shall remain the same. Oh God, we join faith together. Gracious God, the church in the country are all going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Speak for healing upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for strength. Thank you, God, for blessings of good health. Thank you, God, that they would claim in your healing touch and healing power and promises. Indeed, they'll be restored. Good health, God. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, they shall experience your goodness once more. Indeed, you are the God who heals today. God, thank you for your reality and your love and mercy upon all them, of them, God. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Our next prayer item is for entrepreneurs to have more sales and good collections in their businesses. Let us all pray. Father God, we Father in Jesus' name, we come to pray God for the entrepreneurs and business people in our lives. Pray, Father, to have more sales, God. Great ideas, God, on how to have more sales, to reach more customers, God. How to have good collections, God. All the collectibles that we need be trusted, God, in Jesus. Those payments that are just pending, spend all those payments we submitted to them. More thank you. Father, we give Father, in Jesus' name, our business team will have all the skills that they will know how and how to communicate effectively get in a way that the customer will be to them so that they'll have more success, God. Father, we ask God for your favor for our salespeople, God, the business team, God, for sales. God, in the name of Jesus, God, God, for supernatural orders are coming to them, God, suddenly, God, come and with order a big bug of more things to them, oh God, in Jesus' name, they'll be able to win and help out, God, and fulfill those orders, in Jesus' name, pray for collections, God, those name is that changing, Lord, pray for the skill of those Following up, that they'll be able to encourage and have good results in the disagreement which shall come. Father, thank you. Thank you for favor. Thank you, God, for creative ways and ideas on how to do their business in a way that they'll be successful. Lord God, grant them God the ability to do this. God. The ability to gain cooperation with customers, clients, Lord God, business partners. 
Father God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our business people, those young and old, God, experience and beginners, we love ideas, God. We the spirit of our Lord, God, that we produce, God, for sales. We're opening doors, God, for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, as they serve them well, as the practice of good, Lord, let them be word of mouth, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. And for our next item, let's pray for the seniors and as well as the young people to be more patient and understanding in this season. So let's all pray. Father God, we thank you. Lord, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Lord, Jesus, 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 Lord, Jesus,
they would be saved, God, and they would render their lives to Jesus completely. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you praise. We know that this is your design, your will, God. Amen and amen. Yes, for our last prayer item, we will be praying for the stability and prosperity of our nation during this pandemic season. So let's pray. Lord, thank Father you, Lord God, God, we Father God, God, we thank you, Lord God. Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faith. And I pray, Lord, because setting your word, it is you. Bless our nation. Lord, we pray, Lord God, we bless our nation. All things together. Lord, we pray, Lord God, God, we bless our nation. Lord, we know that you are not affected by the conditions of our nation. This is this pandemic. We know that you are sovereign. You do what you wish us to do, God. You do what you want to do, God. And this time, we thank you. We thank you. It's part of your will. Lord, bless a nation, oh God. Oh, Father God, we pray. Strengthen our nation. We are nation to render their lives to you, Lord God. That's more blessings can come. Lord, we pray for our leadership, God. The President, God. Vice President, Lord. Our cabinet members, the senators, the congressmen, the military, the medical team, God. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your guidance. Our our president. COVID lockdown. Father, give them the right ability to make the right, the right decision. You will always have the desires of the nation. God will be able to recover. Lost, brought by this COVID season. God, Father, the supernatural. The more jobs in our nation, the more infrastructure built. God, that nothing is too hard for you to do, and that. In the name of Jesus, we pray for every worker, every job, God, every office of the work is in it, God. The hard work will be a culture of it, God. People will not get discouraged in the medical field, like the nurses, and the doctors, God, the med techs. They will not get discouraged and quit, motivated to see the need for them, God, working and working and serving the nation. At the same time, God, we pray for opportunities for them to be given financial rewards, oh God. Oh, yes, God, in the name of Jesus. We you, Father, that all these things are possible, God, because we believe you, God Almighty. Thank you, Lord God, for grace to flow, grace upon the grace of our nation, workers, God, for the workforce. We pray, God, for the IETF group, those advising the government, God, the training, what to do with the lockdown. Lord, we pray for your guidance upon them, elevating the condition of the nation concerning the education. We pray that this COVID thing would die down and be gone completely. Infection be gone completely, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. We trust you. We depend on you, God, because we know that you can change things, God, for your people. We thank you, God, because we know you're the God who can transform things, God, for the glory of God. Bless our nation. God, with great harvest, God. Business is booming, oh God. Economy is strong, God. We thank you, Father, now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. We would like to thank you for joining us in this time of fervent prayer. Daniel's prayer program airs at 5.45 in the morning, 11.45 in the noon time, and at 8.45 in the evening from Mondays to Fridays. This is Pastor Rafi Manalo, and God bless you all. <laughs>